Hello Libra, welcome to another you and them love reading. This is going to be all about your person, the person that you're thinking about at this time. We're going to be looking at what's going on in your connection, how you feel about each other and what's next for your connection. So as always, this is going to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Libra watching. If it does resonate, leave me a comment, let me know because I love to hear from you guys. But if it doesn't resonate, then check out my playlist for Libras. There's lots of videos there that you can watch. All right, spirits, angels, guys, what messages do you have for Libra when it comes to love? All right, Libra, let's see what's going on in your connection. So angels, guys, what's going on for Libras in love? religious factors spirit is involved this could be divine timing it could be that spirit is speaking through you know uh, intuitively um to you or your person and getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens okay so this could be taken a few ways. Um, I'm going to get some cards first. What is going on in this connection? Spirit, tell me more. What can you tell me about this connection between Libra and this other person? Let's see what's going on in your connections, Libra. Wow, Page of Cups starting off strong three of cups reverse and four of swords reverse well let's see what's this three of cups reverse about what's this three of cups reverse about king of pentacles reverse Three of Cups reverse about. Eight of Wands reverse. Three of Swords. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is um, for the Libras that I'm talking to today, there is a third party here. Some sort of interference in your connection. It could be another person. It could be a family member, a friend, a current partner, ex-partner. Um, it could be a boss. It could be a co-worker. It could be long distance, a lack of communication. But I'm really getting the sense that you're, for a lot of you, this person's already in a commitment. And there's been a lot of disappointment and heartbreak in this co connection because of this third party. What's this page of cups about? Ace of Pentacles, reverse. What's this ace page of cups about? Sorry. What's this page of cups about? Six of Pentacles. Someone here wants to apologize to you. That's what this is. This is an apology. They want to apologize for disappointing you, for breaking your heart. What's this Four of Swords reverse about? The Emperor reverse Aries energy. What's this Four of Swords about reverse here? Someone's restless. Yeah, because they've, they've been waiting and so it's it's like they're restless, impatient, maybe someone's not sleeping well. They want to talk and, wow, they want to talk about a new beginning or perhaps talking about this is a risk with the fool. It's like someone's waiting for an opportunity to, to speak their truth. But it, this is out of their control for some reason. Like they can't communicate even if they wanted to or they can't get this message out even if they wanted to. 
So let's see, how are you feeling about each other? What are the energies between Libra and this other person? Spirit? What are the energies here? Tell me about Libra's energies at this time regarding this person or this connection. Okay, we got the fox. Tell me about Libra's person. What are their energies at this time? Yeah, look at this. Panther and Nightingale. They have something to say, and the Panther is kind of like the Tower card. I feel like this will be an unexpected message or something shocking. Some sort of revelation here. Now with the Fox, I feel like um, the Fox in this deck is someone very clever, but they're also very um, family oriented. They usually mate for life or they're like a partner for life. So I feel like, at least on your end, you might see this person as someone either very sneaky or you see yourself forever with this person. So let's see. Let's get more information. I'm using my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. This is the deck that is available in my shop. You can print it out at home. Link down below if you're curious. Tell me about Libra's energies. Tell me about Libra's energies, spirit. Tied up, trapped, stuck, burdened. You're feeling stuck or trapped in a situation. So maybe you're trying to be a, a clever about a situation that you find yourself in. You could also be stuck in your own head about something like, I'm picturing the Eight of Swords here. Tell me about Libra's person. What are their energies at this time? Tell me more. Sweet dreams, fantasy, daydream, imagination. Time out, timing, patience, and waiting. Time is of the essence. Maybe one more for sweet dreams. Wedding bells. Marriage, wedding, commitment. So, interesting. So I'm getting two things here. This person, like I said, is already in a commitment, but I feel like they're thinking about you. Like you are a dream to them. And I feel like they would need to tell you this, or they want to tell you this. Maybe you don't know this with the nightingale. Hmm. All right. So let's get more information about how you feel about each other. Now, Libra, I have you on this side and your person on the other, but it can be flipped. So feel free to flip them if it resonates more for you. So let's get more information here. Spirit, tell me more about how Libra and this person feel about one another. Tell me about how Libra is thinking or feeling at this time regarding this connection. The full reversed. Tell me how Libra is thinking or feeling at this time about this connection. Nine of Swords. So you're stressed, Libra, feeling stuck. You could be the one that's probably restless, not sleeping very well, or just have anxiety or fear about, perhaps you're worried that something's not gonna happen here. Tell me more about Libra and how they're thinking or feeling at this time. Nine of Cups, so this is about getting a wish granted, wish fulfillment, um, having some sort of, wanting to be successful is what I'm picking up. But with the Nine of Swords, I feel like in your mind, you're not going to have what you want. Why is the full reverse? Let me move this over. Why is the full reverse? Mm. 
nine of pentacles well it could be that you are attached to something tied up stuck somewhere libra and you don't see a way out of your situation perhaps you are financially dependent on someone or just not feeling free you feel instead of feeling free and being able to do what you want you feel stuck Seven of Swords, Reverse. Perhaps to, in order to get out of this situation, you would need to be really sneaky. Or you're trying to sneak away here and are scared of getting caught. What is going on? Tell me about the Nine of Cups. What is the Nine of Cups? Tell me if this is resonating, by the way, because I feel like this is a very specific message. Five of Pentacles, Reverse. So you want back in. You don't want to struggle anymore. You don't you want to have some sort of recovery here with this other person despite what happened between you. 7 of pentacles. Yeah, you're worried. You have doubts that something's going to play off for, pay, pay off for you, if I could speak. You wonder if this is going to go your way or if this is going to be successful. There's doubts here. Worry. So tell me about Libra's person. What are their thoughts or feelings about in this connection? Sorry. What are Libra's person thinking or feeling in this connection? Eight of Pentacles. Well, they're doing some work. They're focused. Tell me more about Libra's person. What are they thinking or feeling at this time? The world reverse. So this is about unfinished business, lack of closure here. And then we have the emperor. Definitely. Aries energy. This is someone that definitely, they're working on making something happen. So let's see. Tell me about the eight of pentacles. What's this eight of pentacles about? The magician reverse. Yikes. What's this eight of pentacles about? Five of Swords reverse. This person is trying to reconcile with you as well, but something's not manifesting for them. Maybe it's going to take a lot more work than they thought. What's this world reverse? Page of Swords. Communication. Watching you. But this, I feel, is more about research being curious looking things up tell me about the world reverse it's like they're looking you up six of wands reverse so this is about what didn't work out between you there's still unfinished business here a lack of closure here and it's like someone wants to discuss it or it's not over for them because they're still checking you checking you out or looking you up or whatever tell me about the emperor I see Emperor here. Judgment and the Eight of Cups reverse with the Hermit at the oh, hold on, with the Hermit at the bottom. Oh, Death card also. So this is the person that was figuring out their next move. It's your person here. They want a second chance. They want to return to you. I mean, this is clear as day. They want to rebirth. They want to come back to you. And they're thinking about how to make this happen with the emperor. The emperor is definitely a planner. They are wise, decisive. They make things happen. They have a lot of courage and they just go for it. You know, like they, they're very um, methodical, you know. Um, they're able to take risks, but in a very measured way. Like they really think about the risks they're taking and they calculate, you know, very calculating energy. Can I get one more for this emperor? Can I get one more, please, for this emperor? Wow, the lovers, definitely. This is someone that has, they, they have a choice to make here when it comes to 
you or this connection. It could be a Gemini you're dealing with, but this is about a choice. This emperor is thinking about how they're going to... It's like not just make the choice, but how to make it happen, right? Like they know which choice they want to make here. They know they want a second chance. They know they want to reunite or have some walk, um, may have uh, the, the, make some sort of return to you. But it's not enough to just dream and, and think, right? This is someone that's going to take action. This is a tower that is, I feel like, unfolding here, if that makes sense. It's almost like this is a tower that's like, I don't know, it's, it's almost like it's, it's a slow moving tower, but it's not stopping uh, i'm picturing like a very like a like a, like a slow avalanche <laughs> so let's see what is the potential outcome i'm going to choose a couple cards in this uh reading here so let's see what is the potential outcome spirit for libra and this person what is the potential outcome let's just clear the table here what is the potential outcome for Libra and this other person? Knight of Swords. Okay, so some sort of communication for sure. We got all these that fell out. The Magician with the Moon Reverse and the Ace of Coin. Are you kidding me? Something's coming to the surface here with the Moon Reverse Pisces energy. I feel like this is, I don't know, it's almost like all of this... All of these things back here are the moon reverse. It's like it's going to be a shock or a revelation, a surprise or something like that. A tower type moment. Someone's going to talk to you about a new opportunity. They're manifesting this and I feel like it's going to surprise you in a good way. Can't wait to find out what this moon reverse is about. What exactly is so shocking, right? Like... Thank you so much for watching this video, Libra. If it resonated for you, please hit the like button, subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know how it resonated. So I'll leave it there. Thank you so much for watching once again, and I'll see you all in another video. Take care.